we discovered cracking on the frame of our Grand Design 17 MKE. A little freaked out, I must admit. Now what do I do? Here we go. Now this video was supposed to be on some annual maintenance as well as a few upgrades I made to our tow setup. We'll get to that in another episode, but stop! In working on some of these routine tasks, an RV tech noticed a crack forming underneath the rig in between the tires on one of the two main I-beams. Now we're getting ready to leave on a 5,000 mile plus trip. Now what do I do? Can I just take a moment to thank you for watching our channel and let you know that we would love you to be part of the community that we're building here. Please consider subscribing to the channel, ringing the notification bell for future episodes, and a thumbs up and a positive comment, they sure help a lot. Now the crack wasn't huge, thank goodness, but it seemed to be growing, and it was right above our main suspension. The RV tech who had been doing other things said he couldn't do that type of work. So he recommended someone who could, but when I called them, he was booked solid. I needed to leave in two weeks and the shops I contacted were all booked, all way past our departure date. Now the last person I had contacted suggested that maybe we should contact a mobile welder. So I found some on Yelp, because where else was I gonna go? And I started calling. Joe Flores of Joe's Arc Welding typically does structural building welding and had great reviews. He agreed to come over and look at the rig and then fix the problem. I got to geek out as he showed me his amazing welder. And it can do pipe welding. Wow. And carbon arc gouging. So I would need a compressor for that. And then uh, like on the big welds, it'll, it'll spit the weld up, clean it up so you can get the plate back. Wow. On this side, we, we clean it was a little bit more towards the middle. So so we, we beveled it, cleaned the crack, welded the crack, leveled it down, and then put a plate around it and welded it all around. So you had a crack on the beam right here? Yeah. So you had a crack right here on the beam? Yeah. So we cleaned it, we beveled it, and we welded the bevel, and then welded the bottom, and then just welded it all the way to the top on top of the bevel. So you got like three passes over that. So that should hold the that should hold it from cracking. Joe was great, and he even offered to give me a welding lesson sometime at his shop. I may just take him up on that. If you're in the Los Angeles area and need welding done, I can highly recommend Joe's Arc Welding, and I'll put his contact and info down in the description. A few thoughts or tips. Even though the cost can sometimes be higher, I really do like using mobile techs. They usually can book you much sooner than a shop, come to you instead of you going to them, and get the job done quickly. Two, you don't have to have an RV tech or someone who specializes in RVs to get RV work done. A trailer shop, brake shop, or in this case, a structural welder will often be more readily available. Sometimes they have even more specific knowledge than the general RV shop or RV dealer. Three, do visual inspections of the underside of your RV often. Look for things that look wrong. Learn to troubleshoot things on your own because often you will be on your own if you're on the road. And number four, take an RV owner's course. Lippert, who made this frame by the way and has yet to get back to me, has RV owner's courses around the country. Also try the at-home course offered by the National RV Training Academy out of Athens, Texas. They also have an in-person course, which I'm going to take in the future and bring you an honest review of the experience. Five, contact your manufacturer when you have problems. 
even though this RV is out of warranty. Grand Design is currently checking to see if we can get some reimbursement from Lippert because this is a major manufacturing issue. Sometimes there are recalls. You also may not know about those. I will add that I am still waiting to hear back on this and we'll let you know if Grand Design or Lippert come through. The frame should not be cracking after three years of use. Thanks for watching. Be sure to see if the repairs we made hold up as we continue to travel this great country. And thanks for being part of the Are We There Yet community on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. For Karen, Wesley, and myself, we wish you happy travels. See you next time.